Hey, Radical fans, welcome to another episode of the Radical Rundown. Today's uh, topic is the unwritten rules of bowling. Uh, and there's a lot of them, a lot of quirky rules that rub people the wrong way. So we have a list of them. We'll just go over some of them. Uh, one of the pet peeves of a lot of people is when, uh, when you stand on the approach waiting for your ball to come back. You know, that's so disruptive, it, it disrupts the lanes to your right, the bowler to your left, or whatever lane you're on. Uh, it's just totally annoying. So don't do that. Uh, here's one you should never, ever do. Don't put your hand in an opponent's ball or anybody's ball, teammate, opponent. That's just terrible. Um, you know, you might have a, a, a slimy hand, <laughs> you know, sweaty hand, and, and you're putting your hand in the ball. I, I go nuts with that. So don't do it. Um, don't leave your rosin bag or your grip sack on the ball return. If I want rosin on my ball, I'll put it there myself. I don't need you to put it there for me. You know, that's another uh, don't do that. Um, another one that's interesting is, and, and I find this is, is so annoying too, um, be ready to bowl. When it's your turn, you know, you should be down in the set tee area greeting your teammate as he comes off the approach and you're up right behind him. Don't be sitting in the back, uh, going to the bar, all of those things you do when it's your turn. Um, you know, be, be a little courteous to the people around you, the people you're bowling with. Uh, this one's funny. Keep your emotions to yourself. Um, when an opponent makes a bad shot, you shouldn't be like, yeah, that's the way, way to go, you know. Uh, that, that's pretty uh, Bush League. Um, it's, just, it's just not right. You know, you can be happy inside, but, you know, keep that inside. Um, here's my, one of my pet peeves is be, a, be cognizant of the available space on a ball return. You know, I mean, you, we, I bowl in a three-man league on a Thursday night, and, you know, even if each guy had a ball, you know, one ball up, you'd have six balls, sometimes there's no room for the ball to come back because during practice they have three balls up on the rack. Just set it on the side, and if you want to go back and get it, go get it. But Keep, keep be mindful of how many balls actually fit on that rack. You don't need to have four balls on that rack during practice. You know, maybe two, maybe. Um, you know, just take a look at the rack. If a ball can't come up the ball return, there's too many balls on that rack. Uh, one of the other ones, don't go moving your opponent's bags around. You know, you have your own space. If they put a bag in there, uh, it's, it, it's, it could be uh, in your way, I understand, but maybe there's a nicer way to say, hey, can I move this, or would you mind if I move it? Still go picking it up and move it to another spot. That'll tick them off. That'll create a hostile environment. And uh, one thing we don't need in bowling is hostile environments. Uh, you know, it's funny. R running out a shot. Never run out a shot. There's no reason for you to do that. Now, if you're throwing a double in a tent to win the U.S. Open to get a staff contract, by all means, run it out. But if you're running out of shot in league, there's a problem. You know, you got to go back and rethink that. Uh, walk back on your own lane. You know, uh, I see that a lot. Uh, guy throws a shot on the right lane and walks back on my lane. That's like a a firing a shot across the bow. You're asking for that, you never know what's coming next. Stay on your own lane. And, and last but not least is lane courtesy. Um, you can expect one lane courtesy, but I don't think you should even think about expecting two lane courtesy. Um, you're not Earl. You get up there and bowling at your turn, one lane to your right, one lane to your left, you go. Um, again, you're not the guy, so, or girl. Um, and that's our Radical Rundown for today. Put those comments below. Let us know what you think. Um, some of your um, not-to-dos while you're bowling. And uh, we'll see you next time.